So when we first moved in, the upfront costs were probably around like $15,000 because we had to pay first month's rent, the security deposit, and then the broker's fee. Hi, welcome to my New York City apartment. My name is Nikki, I am 26, and I live in New York City in a one-bedroom apartment with my husband, and we pay $3,800 a month. I'm a data scientist, and on the side, I run a little Instagram called Just a Homie that's about home decor. So when we first moved in, uh, rent was 4000 and that was like right at the edge of our budget. Um, but this past year, when we renewed our lease, we were able to negotiate it down to 3800 How I really wanted it to feel was like warm and cozy, especially because we're in the middle of the city. It's like a real hustle and bustle outside, so I just wanted it to be a place where when we came in, it felt really comfortable and homey. Since the pandemic, um, my husband and I have both been working from home, so we've definitely had to like readjust a couple things. My favorite thing about this apartment is probably the kitchen. It's like an open plan kitchen and it has a lot of counter space and it's modern. One of the biggest ways that we try to save money is by cooking and not eating out just because that can add up really fast. So in order for like us to be motivated to cook, we just wanted to have a kitchen that was like, you know, you felt good being in it. My least favorite thing about our apartment is probably the lack of natural light. We're north and east facing. I think if anything, during the pandemic, the lack of natural light has like gotten to my head. But I just think given like all the other things that this apartment had, it was something that I would have to compromise on. I mean, having natural light doesn't save me money like having like a like a good kitchen does. So my husband and I were going to get married in October 2019 and we were only going to be in the city because we were traveling back and forth between here and California and we had about a week time in the city where we could look for our apartment. We used a service called Lofty, which is a brokerage which helped us line up all of our open houses in like one or two days. And so for this apartment, we had seen it on Street Easy. And so we just told our broker, hey, we found this place, we want to see it. And he set up an open house for us and we got to come and um, that's how we found the place. So for the application process, because it's a co-op, it's a little bit more strict than normal. So we had to, of course, show like our bank statements, proof of income. We also had to get personal and professional references. We also gave like a full financial statement. So um, all of our assets and everything we're invested in. It definitely takes some effort to collect all of that, but once we had that in, it was a couple weeks. And then you also have to go through an interview with the board of the co-op. So we came here and we sat down with like five people on the board um, and they just asked us questions and um, it was pretty casual, but I think they just wanted to like get to know us. When we first moved in, um, the upfront costs were probably around like $15,000 because we had to pay first month's rent, which was $4,000, the security deposit, which was also $4,000, and then the broker's fee, which was 15%. So that was like $7,000-ish, so it ended up being a total of $15,000. We love this neighborhood. We're less than a five minute walk from Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, H Mart, the subway station, like everything is near here. I think our apartment is like in between six and 700 square feet. I came from a tiny apartment that was like 300 square feet. So this definitely feels a lot bigger. And we're only two people and we like each other. So I guess it's, it's not a big deal to be in this space. So this is our kitchen. Um, as you can see, there is a pretty good amount of counter space, at least for New York City. And I really like the stove. This is like the fan. So actually all the smoke when you're cooking goes up into this fan. I can reach it if I tiptoe. Ah. So that's nice. We don't use it that often. We also really like this deep sink. I just feel like it makes it really easy to wash dishes when like the water's not splashing everywhere. We also have the dishwasher in here, which is also a must have. The kitchen is really modern um, and it was like 
newly renovated so we try to like warm it up with like a wooden clock and some like wooden things out on the counter this is our fridge which we also really like because it's like built into or like flush against the wall so it doesn't take up um, extra space which is great we didn't realize that the fridge wasn't magnetic so there's a little snoopy thing this is what happened <laughs> So this is our dining area. Um, we just put it right next to our kitchen. Our dining table is a CB2 dining table that I think is originally around like 300, but we got it off Facebook Marketplace for like 100. And we also got our bar stools, which are West Elm bar stools that are usually like $200 each. And we got two from Facebook Marketplace for 150 total. I worked at my dining table for like six months and then as soon as I started feeling a little pain I was like I need to get a desk and it's a standing desk which is super nice so yay so this is our living room we've I think made it really cozy with this big rug that definitely like brings the space together this is where we basically spend all of our time we have our bookshelf with all of our books we actually like took the couch like significantly farther away from the wall and behind all of this is our storage. So you have like all of our suitcases, well half of our suitcases back here. So it's like one, two, three suitcases. So this is the bathroom. Um, it's also been renovated so it's pretty modern and clean which we love. Um, you've got like all the storage cabinets with mirrors. And my favorite part about the bathroom is the rain shower. So this is our bedroom. Obviously it's a little bit smaller than the living room, but we just didn't really prioritize like getting a big bedroom. So we've got our bed right in the middle. My husband over there working and his little desk area. This is our big closet. These are my clothes. And we've got some clothes in this dresser. Um, some of Dylan's clothes and then he's a lawyer so he has to wear suits every day to work. So this is like his suit section, but it's been untouched for the past eight months. <laughs> Keep like all these storage containers under the bed. So this is the door to the patio, um, but it's raining right now. So if we open it, our room's gonna get flooded. <laughs> this is our bed. Uh, we didn't have a headboard for a while, but we just got this headboard that's actually like, it mounts to the wall. So you stick it on with like Velcro strips. Um, so it's not like attached to the bed. We just like didn't really invest in our bed frame or like a headboard that much. It's like one of the things I don't really want to splurge on. The rent is definitely way more than what we'd have to pay if we lived somewhere else. And I think we're very aware of that. So it, it definitely like hurts a little bit, but I think given that we're in the middle of Manhattan and you know just New York City we get to like enjoy being so close to everything I think that's kind of what it takes I think for the rent that we're paying um, we got a really good deal we don't really know how long we're planning on staying we we just renewed our lease so we're definitely here for another year and I think we're just gonna take it year to year we did want to buy I mean we do want to buy eventually um, but yeah the New York the New York market is just pretty tough it really sucks to like rent and just like throw money out the <laughs> throw money out the door every month. But yeah, just buying, I just don't think we're ready for there yet.